Hi, we are continuing our devotional series on the seven I am sayings that Jesus uttered and we come to the next I am saying in John chapter 8 and verse 12. So let's read it together. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Now it's very interesting. When Jesus said this, he was in the temple courts. And it was during the Jewish festival that is called the Feast of Tabernacles. Now one of the rituals associated with the celebration was the lighting of four really tall stands that each held four golden bowls that were filled with oil and a wick. And so each night a priest would climb a tall ladder to reach the top of these four stands. And he would then light the 16 bowls of oil. Now the rabbis used to say that once these bowls were lit, the whole of Jerusalem was illuminated. So if you think, in a world that didn't have public lighting at night in a pre-electricity day, this light shining out from the temple in Jerusalem must have been a wonder to behold. Now I want you to imagine the scene. It's in this very temple court during this very feast where the lighting of the ceremony was taking place each night. It was in this place that Jesus says that he's not only the true light of Jerusalem, he says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Without Jesus in your life, you are in spiritual darkness. You are wandering around without guidance, without hope, blind to the reality of who you are, blind to who Jesus is, and blind to your hopeless condition. Now just think of what light symbolizes. Light brings hope. And when you're lost in darkness, seeing light in the distance, perhaps if you're in a forest or somewhere, that brings hope. And Isaiah said of Christ coming into the world, on the people living in darkness, a light has dawned. But light also brings comfort. Light brings warmth. Light casts out fear and all the scary shadows and the things that scare us, they disappear in light. Light brings clarity. The psalmist said that in your light, we see light. So light lets us see reality as it was meant to be seen. Light also exposes. It shows us that we are sinners in need of a savior. And if Christ had not come to die on the cross, we would never have known that we even needed saving. And then light brings guidance. Think of lighthouses and the sun and the moon and the stars. Jesus brings purpose and he brings meaning to life. And then wonderfully, light also brings joy. In John chapter 9, the very next chapter from chapter 8, which we've read from, Jesus heals a blind man. And think the ability to see physically and the ability to see spiritually brings joy. And when you come to see Jesus as he truly is, your entire life is changed. The lights go on, so to speak, and you are filled with a deep and inexpressible joy. So can I ask you today, do you know Christ or are you still in spiritual darkness? You see, people who love darkness don't want to come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But it is actually a liberating thing to step into the light and to realize that Christ sees all of your sin and yet he willingly died on the cross. So repent of your sins and step into the light. Pray and receive Christ and you will never walk in darkness again. And then today, if you do know Christ, can I ask you, are you basking in the light of Christ? Or have your eyes so adjusted to his light that you now take him for granted? Or are you still excited? Are you still enjoying the truth of God's word, which is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path? So ask Jesus to shine his light into your life and you will experience hope and comfort and clarity, guidance and joy. Jesus is the light of the world. There isn't a dark place anywhere in this world or in your world that you can't experience Jesus. What a wonder to behold Jesus, the light of life and the light of the world.